Unity Radio. Welcome everyone to Chapter Conversation. Joining us with us now is LFA standout, the Colombian queen, Sabina Mazza. Sabina, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Really do appreciate it. Sports, but how much have you learned in that small time that you've been training here, um, especially from your fight camp? Can you talk about maybe your, your fight camp and how, how they taught you and how they prepared you since um, transitioning to you know to the LFA and you know how you see your future with them? Well, I've been learning a lot as a fighter and as a person, really. Since I got here to Kings MMA, my whole game changed of course i still have a lot of things um to work on but um i learned a lot and every camp like you said is different every camp i learned something and that's uh, the good thing of fighting you, you always learn you know like even if you lose or you win you always learn that's the important part that you realize what are your mistakes what you can do in the future to work on and um yeah i feel much better since i got here and and I know I still have a lot to work on, and that's what I like. You know, I, I will never stop, like, you know, evolving and, like, really getting better every day. Yeah, you, you had mentioned earlier that I know because within the LFA, you had two spectacular knockouts. And you must have felt that pressure. People, oh, you, you must be ready for the UFC now, you know, jump in the UFC now. But how has, you know, your management and LFA and your, your training camp said, hey, you know what, this is kind of, you said, let's take it slow. Let's get more, let's get more fights under a belt under a belt before we take that next step. Do you kind of feel that pressure a little bit from outside? People saying, hey, let's take the next step now while the iron's hot. People are talking about you. You know, you're know, you trending on social media because the highlights are great. Is it important for you kind of to step back and realize, no, I have, I have so much more to grow here? Yeah, of course, everyone is going to talk. I really don't feel any pressure at all because I know everyone is going to be talking. Even if you lose or you win, they're always going to be there and, and trying to fit that pressure. But I really don't take that. I just uh, focused on what I really want. And uh, like I said before, I really want to go to UFC. Not right now. I want to get more, like a little bit more experience here in LFA. Fight for the title, maybe defend it, and, and do a couple of fights here. And um, yeah, in, in the future, I don't know how, how long it's going to take um, go to UFC, but not because it, everyone tells me, you know, because I feel ready. Mm -hmm. Whenever I feel ready, I will go. That's not because of the pressure of everyone telling me to go. Well, that's great. That you're super young. You have the the right plan. Um, I want to talk about growing up in, in Colombia. What's what was the the um, combat sports culture over there? Especially now, the UFC ha has had a couple of seasons of the Ultimate Fighter Latin America, and not too many fighters from that area. What's it like? What's the fight culture like? Is MMA getting pretty popular out there, or is combat sports in general kind of on the rise? As opposed to, we, we all know like soccer and football is very popular, but what's what's the, what's the culture like for combat sports down there? Well, it, it's growing. It's not too big, you know. Football, of course, is more than mm. soccer and those things. Uh, but we have a lot of um, boxing champions over there. And, um, well, I mean, it's, it's not like MMA it's super old there. It's mm -hmm. just really new, so there's not a lot of fighters, but it's growing, you know, and I see a lot of talent over there, like a lot of guys and girls that, that I know they have future. And um, I'm pretty proud, you know, I'm pretty proud because I can say I'm one of the first generation mm -hmm. of the new MMA fighters in, in Colombia. But um, for sure it's growing, you know. We still need a lot of time and things. That's why I came here to, to Kings, because I know I have a easier and like faster way to, to achieve my goals. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, you last fought in September. Um, any timetable or time frame for the next fight? You can maybe 2018 or you maybe fight one more time before the year's out? Or what's it looking like for you? Well, I'm still uh, waiting for opponent. Maybe a date, but... I feel good. I, I haven't stopped training since last fight. So if the opportunity comes to fight one more time this year, I, I will fight. So um, when you're not in a training camp, what's your workouts consist of? Are you just kind of keeping like cardiovascular, just fighting techniques, nothing too specific? Or is it kind of the same kind of type of training year round, even with a fight camp and non-fight camp? It's the same training. I, I always, I, I don't stop. Of course, my diet changes and yeah. different things change. But uh, it's basically the same. I, I really 
think that a fighter should not only have fight camps, you know, not like, oh, okay, I have a fight and I'm going to start training. No, the fighter should have like always a training and maybe a specific type of trainings before fight. But uh, I, I really think that I am always training. I always try to do my best all year. And uh, as soon as I have a fight, change maybe two or two trainings and, and just keep going. That's a definitely a championship uh, mentality you have, Sabino. I want to thank you again for taking the time to uh, speak with us. Really do appreciate it. We'll let you go, get you go, uh, going on your run here. Um, before I let you go, where can people get a hold of you on social media, Sabino? Um, I'm like Sabino Maso in Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And then uh, any sponsors you want to give a shout-out to before I let you go? My family. They're my number one sponsorship, uh, my sponsors. And uh, I came to my mate. They always support me and, and you're part of my family too. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate it. Wish you best of luck in the future. Next time we have a fight on, we'll have to um, get you back on here to, to promote it. Cool. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. Have Sabina. a good day. Have a good one. You are now listening to Afro Mati Radio.